that's funny, that's really funny. Hi there, I'm King Nebuchadnezzar. I'm uh, just drinking some hot cocoa by my fire, reading my autobiography. There's nothing in here, you got me. I don't know why I lie to you. Follow me. This is great. You know what's greater? A story about me. And uh, three other guys are not that important. Let's get into it, shall we? You don't have a choice. You're going to have to listen to this. <sighs> a long, long time ago. What are you doing? Back up. I'll tell you when you can fade in. A long, long time ago. Wait and fade. Hi, it's me, King Nebuchadnezzar, Mr. The Royal Advisor. Hey, I'm the advisor. I made this big old gold statue, and I want everybody to bow down to it. And if not, it's completely fine. I'll just sue them. <gasps> Kidding. I wouldn't do something so terrible. I'll throw them into a fiery furnace with a burn all of the flesh and burn the ashes and kill them. Several days later. Throw my robes on and head out. I didn't know that. What's up, King? It's me, one of your astrologists. This is a telescope, not lifeguard sport powder spray. Anyways, we got these three Jew guys who don't want to bow down to your statue. We can bring them to you if you want. Bring them my way. Say it. Ah, oh, I have been awaiting your arrival. Shadrach, Meshach, and Awendigo. My name's Abendigo. I don't care. I heard that you two were bowing to some other god and not me and my golden statue. And I'm gonna need to hear some reasons why. We'll never bow to you, King Nebuchadnezzar. Our God, our Father, is our only true King. And He sits on the throne of heaven. He's better than your stupid golden statue, too. That's enough. That's no good. I'm gonna have to throw you in my furnace. Guard, guard, come here, come get him out. Come throw him in my furnace. You can try and burn us if you like, but God will keep us from the fire. And then I burn to them. Throw him in my furnace. I'm sorry guys, looks like I'm the one with the gruesome task of throwing y'all in the fire. Whoa, whoa. Oh no. Oh my ah. goodness. Oh no. Oh, oh, fire's no. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh, They're man. totally dead oh, now. Whoa. Oh, ah. shoot. Oh, hey. oh hey Mr. Angel. Dead. We're like totally on fire. Could you put it out or Bro, something? Yeah, bro, we're, we're less like fire totally fire on fire. Right yeah, like, yeah, you yeah, put us put out, out the fire. Hey, no problem, man. Like, magic. Whoa. Dude, I'm not on fire anymore. Bro, that's you chill, man. Man, yeah, man, I'm down to hang. All I'm down to hang out, dude. Time Just for chill. Hang out. Yeah. Well, let's chill in this fire. Yeah. Guard, come on out here. Yes, your highness. This mirror to my eyes to see you through. I feel like I'm seeing four people in that fire right now. You did heat it up several, seven times hotter than it normally is, right? Of course, your highness. We heated it up so hot that it killed some other guards. 
killed some. Uh huh, uh huh. And you bound them, uh, wearing super flammable clothes, and you just threw them in there? Of course, Your Highness. Hmm. Hmm. I see, I see. So who is the fourth person? Did you throw someone else in there? Oh, my I don't goodness. know, Your Highness. Are they dancing? Oh, well, you need to step up and be the big man now. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, step out of that fire right now. They are unharmed, Your Highness. Incredible. Hear me, my people. See what Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's God saved them from. Bunch of fire. I hereby decree that anyone who speaks ill against these three's God shall have their house turned to rubble and be chopped into tiny pieces. And that, my dear peasants, is the story of how I discovered the true God and how to survive in the very, very hot conditions. What's the moral of the story? To trust in the one true God with all your heart. I would suppose. I don't Love you.